All right, so we are back with some more PvP. Today we're playing some more gear, and we're using Esterosa instead of Gloxinia. So if you haven't checked out both the Sario video and the, tar the Tarmia with Gloxinia, they'll both be linked down in the description, um, and also the summoning video but that would also be down. Will also be down in the description. Um, so yeah, you can check out all those three things. Um, and if you want to see me summon on a banner next time or hype banner make sure to tune in on my Twitter and Twitch they'll both be down in the description I stream on Twitch sometimes so we'll make sure to come by and yeah so the gist of this team like Glocks if you haven't watched the video is obviously you have Tarmia as a defensive unit Glocks who's going to help boost both characters and Esteros is just going to deal massive damage with his counters so what we're going to do here is put up a counter and then combine these cards here actually I might have messed up I should have put up um, the arc shield here I might actually just have messed up a bit there because the arc shield was going to help me but we're still going to do fine I suppose I wouldn't think he's going to one shot me here anyways so I don't think we're up for a bit. Okay, so he's going to play passively. Interesting. He goes for passive play. We're going to combine these two. We're then going to go for pumpkin bombs and get Sar Tarmiel's ultimate here. So we're going to push him to try and at least stun us. And now I know he obviously has some cards stocked up on both Lost Lane and... Perfect. Oh my days. We need just. We need just. I can't speak. We need counters. We basically just need counters. This is perfect. J we just needed a counter. We can like. Okay. Let's see. No damage at all. That Meliodas does nothing. Nothing. And because of Estrosa's commandment, his attack is also going to be lowered. There we go. No damage. So he's rendered useless basically. Um, so. We are going to use Tarmia's ultimate. We are going to remove your ultimate as well. And then we're going to rank up everything with Gotha here. That gives us two more level 2 rank ups. There we go. We're going to proc the Elizabeth passive here. Nice. And now we have two level 2 rank ups. And we can also remove again ultimate gauges. And there's nothing you can do. We got another rank up, but no counters, unfortunately. A bit unfortunate, but still, it looks like we are gonna still have the match in our bag here. But he does have Sario cards. Okay, it's hurting a bit. His damage is gonna be lowered if he decides to use another Sario card here. Okay, nice. Luckily, didn't kill my Esterosa. So, we're gonna try to life steal back up here. And then we're gonna go for this on you. So let's see if we can lie still back here. Nice, and we also kill Elizabeth in the way. And we get golden buffs on ourselves. Oh, we actually managed to kill Sariel there. 98,000. That was actually surprising. Damn, I did not surprise him to absolutely destroy him there. <laughs> okay, very, very nice. This match is basically over. Is Tarmiel better than Sariel? Confirm. Just kidding. No, he's not. But still, this team works perfectly fine. And it's even going to work better, I would assume, against the one Eskinal. So we're going to pop this ultimate. Pop another rank up. And then go for Miliodas if he doesn't die. Because obviously, Magoth is 1 out of 6. It doesn't matter. We even crit on him. And that is, our, that is the dub. Um, by the way... I only, oh, I have you argue for Estrosa and Gotha, but not for Tarmiel. Obviously, I haven't, I don't have, I do not have the materials or the resources to get into, basically, uh, to get some UR gear. I've only saved up for the one Escanor, because obviously, free to play, we're out struggling here. We can't get as many UR sets and everything. We can't buy our way into it, unfortunately. Um, and unfortunately there is a, only one method of getting it other than events which is training grotto unfortunately okay again 
a low CC unfortunately because we are in gold. I never play geared PvP. Oh, only forfeit it. That is just going to give us more points so we can get up in ranks and eventually go against people at our level. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try and play some more geared PvP, especially because I've also uh, have more UR gear for my characters um, and thus making it more viable for me because before I like I think was it one and a half months ago I didn't even have one UR gear set and now I have four because I've stockpiled everything I didn't UR gear anyone um, so yeah let's see okay Kyo he has a decent combat class but I think this is in the bag for us we can get a level three counter and that should be enough to win us the match. Rank up here. Let's go for his green Gother. So he can't use his passive or utilize his passive. There we go. Get some nice little 50k damage almost. And a level 3 counter ready. I'm not sure if that's a bot. He used an emote. Bots tend to use emotes. Let's see. Let us see what's the idea here. Is he going to use pumpkin bombs here? Oh no, he's actually going to rank up Zeldris and go for level 3 on my Estero. So that is actually some nice damage on his end. We are going to live steal a bit back. Again, a level 2 on me. We almost killed the Zeldris as well. Okay, okay. Interesting choice there for him. Um, we're going to go for the Taramiel shield. We're then going to go two cards into your Zildris and kill him. That should be enough. And we should also live steal some back on our Estorosa here. Nice. Out with him. And let's see who he has in the back. That's the sub. Oh, droll. Interesting. Okay, so we can actually get another <laughs> level 3 counter with Estorosa. That is perfect. If we got this last match, it would look so awesome with the rank ups as well. Obviously, we also have three rank ups. I'm not too sure why we're getting so lucky with these rank ups. Okay, you're just going to get hit with a count. Oh, we actually one shot him. 95k. I did not expect that. Let's see, can he kill Kyo as well? Damn, almost. 77k. Oh. Um, we can rank up here. Get another level 3 counter. And then go for the pumpkin bombs yet again. Let's see what the damage is going to do. So that's basically the gist of the team. You put up a, a arc shield, a counter, and you just go to town. They would do zero damage because of um, Estros' commandment, because of the arc shield. And Estros is just going to dish out so much damage back with his um, counters. So it works perfectly. Okay, nice. We are going to kill you. <laughs> there we go. Gone with you. And let's see. He doesn't use anything with Droll. And he forfeits. Okay. We still haven't gotten up against like a, mm, a, a player at our combat class, but we have at least tried out with different teams. So we obviously had the the Sariel team, but it's not that mm, you can still win. A, a, a good Sariel can still obviously kill Maestrosa. As you saw, he was pretty close at killing mine, but that was also because I did not put up an arc shoot. So that was my fault. Um, let's see. Okay, a glue eater team. And he has a higher combat class. Okay, so hopefully this is a real player. We are unfortunately getting the... Oh, he just decided to forfeit. He knows the he knows the reckoning of this team. He knows how annoying it can be. I, As you can see, just seeing this team made him tremble in his boots, <laughs> as they say. And just surrender at the feet of Estorosa and Tarmil. So, he, as you can see... Um, uh, I can't. I, I put the words to it, and yeah, let's see what we can get. Can we get something? Um, maybe like a good Sariel team here. Speaking of another glue team, uh, low combat class, unfortunately. Um, and he's also going to forfeit, so that is what the third forfeit in a row. Okay, so we've got some more tickets because I didn't think that was a fair representation of how the team works. Um, and how people can try and defeat it because we've just gotten loads of surrenders um, and that is quite understandable since they're a bit low combat class compared to me oh a mirror matchup interesting I did not expect to see that 
He is unfortunately lower combat class than me, which is a bit unfortunate. But alas, let's see what he has up his sleep. Oh, a surrender again. A surrender again. Are you kidding me? What are all these? I, I guess I, I didn't even get this many surrenders when I played Sario. This is quite amusing, to be honest. I don't even get to play. Like, I basically don't even get to play. People are just surrendering from left, right and centre. I guess this is how much dominant... Again, is this the same person? No, it's not. But it's a mirror matchup. Oh, wait, is it again? It's the same person again. He has the same level 75. Okay, unfortunately we didn't get the gold encounter here. So we're going to combine these and go for a pumpkin bomb and then go for this intersarial or tarmiel here. Keep um, exchanging their names or keep mixing them up. What we almost killed tarmiel, excuse me. Oh, his grace made him heal back. I completely forgot about that. But we do have two rank ups and two estros encounters. That is three gold encounters. Okay, hopefully he doesn't get a level 3 golden counter here. That's a level 2, right? Yeah, surely that is a level 2. Um, is this just going to be a waiting game? It's kind of... Okay, so there's definitely a real player here. Um, the connection is not that great. Is he tempering with the connection? Because it's awfully... Oh, he disconnected. And we won. I'm not too sure why he disconnected or what happened at his, at his end. But we will take another dub. I, I, that match would have been in the bag for us, obviously. He didn't have a little 80 tar Tarmiel and he wasn't super waking. And also because of that card draw I just got there. I could have gotten two golden counters and yeah, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be fair for him. Okay, let's see. What we, okay, so there's a butter. Is that Lilia? Are we against the penetration team? I'm actually curious how. Well, this is not going to work if you put up an arc shield. Yep, it's a penetration team. And he actually has a high combat class. Interesting. Okay. So we get. Unfortunately, not a level 2 counter. We're going to use pumpkin bombs. Use this into Lilia and then put up an arc shield. And we're going to. Use a polite bow back to him. Because obviously if we can kill Lilia, that renders his Meliodas useless. There we go. Even though he is pretty much useless with this as well. Because of the, the arc shield. That is... Oh, there we go. We got the two counters. That is going to give us the gold one. And he's probably not going to use anything. But let's see what he's going to do. Maybe a Corrosion. Most likely a corrosion here. Oh, he actually went for that. As you can see, not that much damage. Interesting that he actually went for that. Okay, so we're going to rank up Esterosa here. We're going to combine these, get Esterosa's ultimate. And now we have a golden counter in our hands. Let's see. Now you can't do anything. You're locked off. Basically attacking me. It doesn't matter if you use that AoE again and we don't have an arc shoot up because... My Estrosa is probably most likely going to one-shot him. He's going to rank up Meliodas again. Go for a golden AoE. Let's see how much we can dish back. That almost one-shot him. Almost. Just barely. And a level 3 Corrosion at his turn. There we go. Okay, nice. So, we can actually just kill his Meliodas. Go for the ultimate. And then put up an Arc Shield. Miliota should be dead. Yep, 139,000. Just on the dot, basically. And he can't use anything back on us because we obviously used Estros' ultimate. Maybe I shouldn't have used um, the Arc Shield then. That was pretty pointless. I just realized there was no point in using the Arc Shield if I used Estros' ultimate. Maybe that might confuse him. Hopefully. He's trying to combine cards or what? It doesn't work to combine cards because you have Zeldris, my man. Let's see. Yep, I don't know why you're combining cards. Is he going to try... 
Oh, he's, oh, he actually did not use anything at all. Okay, interesting. He knows. Um, so, we're going to go for Yuzeldris here. And let's go for Estrosa's card. Let's see, can we kill Yuzeldris? Okay, nice. 51. 21. Almost. Almost dead. I could have used Pumpkin Bombs, but I don't think there's a reason to. Especially because we have Tarmiel's ultimate. And that should be enough to also heal us back. But he's probably going to go for Mangotha, obviously, here. And kill him. Unfortunately, we did not have an Arc Shield. So he's going to be dead. Oh, he might just remove my ultimate. I just realized. I might have messed up here. I should have used the Pumpkin Bombs, yeah. I definitely should have used the Pumpkin Bombs. Um, because he can get Gotha's ultimate, but... I don't think it matters too much. We can obviously still remove the ultimate. Um, so let's go for this, this, and this. This should give us two ultimates. And hopefully this kills. Okay, yes, this should definitely kill. There we go. Out with his Zeldris. And now we have two ultimate at our disposal. He's most likely going to remove them. But we do also have the Tarmil card, um, the Arc Beam, so we can also remove his Gotha's ultimate. Doesn't matter too much here. Yeah. Okay, so it's going to combine Gil Thunder's cards. Let's go for the buff here. Use this to get another ultimate and then use this. Hopefully Gil Thunder's card will combine next turn as well. Okay, put up a counter, remove the ultimate. Hopefully the cards don't combine nice. Okay, so he's going to have to remove the ultimates yet again. And that will make my Estrosa hit back with a counter. And we also increased his damage. So let's see. Can we kill Lilia here? Oh, he's going for a heal. So he's not going to attack me or... Interesting. He lets me use my ultimate. Okay. If he's up for it, this is all we're going to do. Let's see if this kills. He's one out of six, so it wouldn't, yeah, definitely wouldn't kill. And um, we're not going to remove Gotha's ultimate. There's no point in it since we used Esterosis. Okay, let's see what his game plan is here. We aren't getting the best of cards. He's just going to probably move, move around the cards here. Okay, that gives him two ultimates. We're going to remove both of them with Tarmil, obviously. And then we're going to. Well, actually, we're going to buff up here, remove your ultimate, and then remove yours. So our attack doesn't get lowered. Speaking of, still lowered. <laughs> but that gives us Gilthunner's ultimate as well, which is gonna be able which is gonna help us be able to one shot um what is her name Lilia so I think I have killed Thunder at six out of six. Oh, we actually removed that I keep forgetting that he has those own hmm. that is not the best scenario for us there so fortunately we are lacking um cards here so we're gonna remove Gotha since he's green that's gonna deal the most damage to our Tarmiel and we're going to put up a level 2 arc shield here. Yeah, we're missing a bunch of Vesterosa cards. This is making it a lot more difficult than it's supposed to be. Because we don't have any Vesterosa cards. We only have one. We need a counter. Yeah, so he's going to use the ultimate. Let's see, can Tarmiel tank it properly? Hopefully she he, isn't, he doesn't have a lot of copies. Okay, nice. Don't die. Nice, okay. There we go, he ranks up her again. That's a bit annoying. Okay, so we've gone this far into the match. We're going to remove your ultimate again. We're going to go for the Esterosa card. Into the Thunder card here. Hopefully the cards don't combine. Okay, nice. We want to kill the Lilia, obviously, because she just keeps healing. And we're obviously saving up the Arc Shield. Because we are taking quite a lot of damage now. Ok, 
Okay, we're not getting any counters, unfortunately. And my Gilthan is going to die pretty soon. Taramu has to tank it up here. Fortunately, we do have an Arc Beam. See, that is why we need the, the counter to head back there. Oh, he doesn't have anything to remove it with. Interesting. So we're going to heal back here. Heal. We're going to heal back. We're going to go for the level 2 here. And then we're going to remove your ultimate yet again. This is going to be a long ass match. Because we just keep healing ourselves. Come on, Esterosa. Don't let me down. No! I could have killed him. And he probably has a level 3 heal now. You've got to be kidding me. Because of Esterosa's commandment, we did not kill, unfortunately. That is so unlucky. How long is this going to stretch for? We're just going to keep... Damn. I definitely expected that to kill. Why is it looking like he's somehow going to win this? We'll go for you. Going to kill you now. Well, actually, we're going to try and kill you first. And then remove your ultimate. Can we kill Lil Lilia here? Okay, surely this kills, right? There we go. And then remove the ultimate. Because if cards were to combine. Nice. Good, good, good. This should be the end of the match. <laughs> Holy, this is a long ass match. The, the damage output obviously isn't the greatest of the team, especially if you don't get any counters. Speaking of counters, how long did that take? Okay, go first to remove the ultimate. And then, yeah, go for an arc shield. Okay. <sighs> this took much longer than I wanted it to. Yeah, that's that's a bit of the problem with the team. So we're probably going to be able to kill him here. Can Tarmil tank it up? Oh no, unfortunately my Gilfander died. Okay. Let's see if we can remove... Can we... We're going to remove the ultimate. And then we're going to go for this. That gives us the most cards. And I'm going to disable you from doing anything. The corrosion is going to kill my Esterosa and um, Tarmil here. So he's going for a rank up. And you lost the match. Because I have a level 3. And this should kill. There we go. Right through your defenses. 73k. Oh, that took way longer than I wanted it to. I legitimately gained... 13 of, of I gain 15 points and I lose 31. Is this league rank play? I don't get it. Why did I lose so much points there? That's two ma matches worth of points. Let's see. What is that character flash in there? Is it Eskinor? Oh. Oh, interesting. He even has bought the cosmetic Vasari over here. Um, this is going to be interesting. So he's running both goddesses. So Gotha is rendered useless with his passive, basically. I'm not too sure what he's going for here. So we're just going to go up for the all defense. And let's see what his play is going to be. Because I'm obviously worried that he's going to try and one-shot my Strosa. So I'm going to have to play defensively. And... Yeah, I want to make sure... Oh, nice. Unfortunately, we don't have any counters now. <laughs> but we can actually get gold cards for everything. Which would be a perfect play for us. Yeah, I think that's going to be the... Oh, he's going to rank up. And go for level 3 shield. Interesting play. Um, we're going to rank up here. Rank up yet again. And we're going to just use this into you. I know the damage is going to be lowered because of the Taramil. But I still want to test out the waters here. 
Okay, that damage got lowered massively, but we had to get rid of some cards. Mm, let's see what's gonna what's gonna be his play. He's not gonna try and go for Tarmir's ultimate. Oh, so he's just going for the damage now. Damn. Because we didn't get any arc shields. He messed up there because he went for the AoE and then the single target that lowered his damage. So that is good for us. We're going to go for level... Th oh, actually. We're going to go for a counter. Then a level 3 and a level 3 again. Or maybe we should just go into straight with Tarmiel here. That is going to give us the most lifesteal back. There we go. We actually almost killed him. Oh, we did because he tanked it. The, the <laughs> oh my days, we killed him. We actually killed him. Okay, nice. And he has, oh, he has Elizabeth in the back. Damn, this is going to be a rough one. Because we did not manage to get any proper arc shields here. We just have the arc beam. He's probably going to wipe out my Astrosa now. Okay, nice. We can get a count on him. Unfortunately, he's only level one. Come on, don't die, Astrosa. Nice, 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 nice. That is what we'd like to see. Please don't kill. Nice, that is so good. That is so good. That just clutches the match properly. Put up an arc shield. Then go for the level 3 here. And then go for Pumpkin Bomb. Because he's probably going to kill my Esterosa. The reason I go for the level 3 instead of the level 1, even though it can't give me Esterosa's ultimate, is because I'm worried that his cards are going to combine and give him another Sario ultimate. So I took the risk. It didn't pay off, really. Because he didn't have cards combine. So that's a bit unfortunate. Oh. We can actually, if he... We might be able to... Let's see. He's going to put a... He doesn't kill him yet. Don't kill. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. There we go. Astros is still alive. Stunt growth of that is totally fine. We're going to kill his... Sariel here. Then we're going to chuck in this on Gotha and chuck another card into Gotha's lifesteal back with Esterosa. And that just gave us the match. As you can see, the Arc Shield saved us so, came in so clutch. Without the Arc Shield, we would have lost. And also, obviously, I have Yogi and Esterosa. So his defense is just going to be much better. There we go. Nice. <laughs> That is a big dub. Big ass dub. And we just need one more match to get into. I would assume it was platinum. I do not have any actors buff on. Let me quickly check here. Yeah, it's platinum one. So let's eat up a dish. And let's get in some more matches here. So far, so good. That matched it go in our favor, which is very good, very good, very nice. We could have, that could have easily went south, but luckily the arc shield saved us there. The arc shield is OP. Okay, interesting team. He has Sario's cosmetic as well. Um, we're probably going to go for pumpkin bombs, arc shield, and counter. I don't want him to basically kill me turn one. Maybe I should have used the the pumpkin bombs again and saved up Esterosa's counter there. Because if I did get another rank up, but yeah, it is fine. It is totally fine. So, what is his play going to be? Straight out of damage. That is going to do nothing. As you can see, nothing. Oh, unfortunately, we crit. Did that actually level up his card? I would. I'm kind of thinking. Does that level up his card? Okay, so I guess it went out perfect. He went on full damage. Um, let's go for a rank up on Sar or Tarmiel. 
Let's go for a shield here. And let's try and nuke into his Sario with a level 3. In hopes of it killing. Might kill. Let's hope. Come on. So close. He lived with basically just a tiny bit health. Like 3 health, let's say. 3 health. Almost a one shot there. Okay. That is going to tank. be tanked up by a Tarmiel. No damage at all. Yep. You all are rendered useless because of Tarmiel. Sorry, mate. That is just how it works. Um, a level 2 to kill you. We're then going to go for this into you. And then go for a counter. Okay, so we're going to kill the Sariel now. Just dish out some damage onto this Eskinor because I don't want to crit on Meliodas. Nice, we got a double crit there. And then up with the counter. Um, we have Tar Oh, King in the back. Is he just trying to flex? What's going on here? Why does he have King in the back? That is definitely a hard flex, but okay. Oh, mean. But well, why does he have King? I don't get it. Almost half health, but just a level one counter. Your Escanot is dead, mate. That is very odd. Just goes out for all damage. Your entire team is dead, mate. What are you doing? Hello? We're going to go for the ultimate. And then clear him out with Esterosa. That should be game. That is definitely game. With the bling, with them dreads. There we go. He wiped them out. Nice. Okay, so. Let's see. Oh. Interesting. That is a bot. What was... <clears throat> no, that's a real player. What was that? Has he just summoned or something? Unfortunately, we got platinum with... Um, uh, against the guy who had a class of 106,000. But we got platinum. Oh, wait. It's at the next... This is promotion match. Oh. Well, then. I'm going to play those at a later time. And that is going to be the end of the video. If you haven't already, leave a like or subscribe to the channel and make sure to check out my Twitter and Twitch. They're both linked in the description. And I will see you the next time. Peace.